I, I feel people often don't understand the power of arts and the power of uh, culture. Um, what I mean, what we call cultural activism, you know, the power of using um, uh, culture in order to achieve, you know, um, social and political uh, goals. Um, of course, it's it's it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to measure. It's not. It's not. You know, you can't say. Um, 200 people attended a concert and were inspired and, and each of them went home and changed their communities by doing A, B and C. Um, but I think there's, 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 there's a power in culture, there's a power in, in using the spoken word and hip-hop and using music in communicating to people. I think that you know, youth today would, would much rather go to a concert than go to a political rally um, because our music speaks uh, a mess a message to the youth um, that is, you know, that is on the same level with them. Whereas politicians, politicians the world over, belong to a class detached and cut off from people. Um, so for us, it's 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 also a powerful means of communication because already in you've you've created a space where people uh, feel part of it. They and they believe in what you're communicating. So to get political messaging across through that, you've always you've already broken down many barriers um, uh, because you're all one culture in a sense um, and so th this is what we do through through performing um, we try and communicate these messages because for us it's like you know of course a concert isn't going to change the world a concert's not going to overthrow a dictator um, but I think social change is is way beyond uh, an election it's way beyond parliament um, none of us in, in the organization support uh, any, uh, any political party. Um, I personally, of course, would rather see the movement for democratic change take over from ZANU-PF, I believe, would have an expansion of democratic space. Um, but I would never put my faith in politicians to deliver um, the freedom that we're all fighting for. Uh, and so this is where the part of, of cultural activism and culture is, is so important, because I think what, uh, you know, what a real revolution is about, what a real uh, struggle for freedom is about, is about challenging the, the power relations of everyday life. That's the, you know, the, the basic revolution of, of everyday life. It's challenging the power relations, the daily you know, hierarchies and sexisms and classism and racism that one has to deal with. Um, and it starts from the individual and from the individual to, the coll to a collective, to a community. Um, and so I think through our music, what we try and do, through our music, through our poetry, and through our humor, we, do, we use a lot of humor um, in our emceeing and interacting with the crowd. Um, we, we try and, you know, it's, it's about inspiring people. It's about making them believe they can affect a change. It's about making them, you know, um, laugh at the political situation. Uh, and by laughing, you're questioning it, you're challenging it. Um, and through, so through these different manifestations, it's about just trying to just trying to get those messages across to the youth that that, that attend to to the audience that comes through the shows um, to make them start to start questioning things to to from from having experienced this freedom space that you create with a concert or uh, with music for them to believe that you can expand that space. Um, you go away inspired from that event and believe that the rest of society can be like this. It shouldn't just be us creating islands of it, but you know, creating much more of a flood. Um, and so that's that, that's that's what we aim to do: is you know, encouraging social change, encouraging people to become politically active, and encouraging them to become outspoken um, through through performance. And it's very. Yeah, it's much it's 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 much more subtle because we're not we're not up there preaching, preaching to people. We're performing, we're joking, but that messaging uh, and that belief in in freedom, that belief in equality, is is being spread out much more subtly, but much more effectively than a workshop or a political rally. Here come the horses and goods, those who wage war and boots. I thought ours was the land and the roots, now crushed by these blind troops. Saying my food is dirty. Love and dignity.